Good afternoon and welcome to the closing ceremony and valedictory uh, session of this long workshop. I am Deepak Patak. I am the project coordinator for 10,000 teachers program. And I am very happy to note that for last two weeks, you have engaged yourselves with uh, intense academic activities with two of my colleagues. I will uh, first request uh, any comments from any of the remote centers about the course. Uh, to what extent have participants benefited from this course and if they have any suggestions for the future workshops. Uh, after which I would request both my colleague teachers to make some closing remarks. Uh, we hope to end by 5.25 because as I will tell you in my closing remarks at 5.30 I have another intense interaction planned with 168 remote centers. Uh, I request people to raise hands and I will answer, I will connect one by one to these places. I request uh, participant friends from the remote centers to be very brief because there would be many people who would like to uh, comment on the workshop to some extent. I am first going over to Amruta School of Engineering Kolam. Over to you Kolam. It was a very good experience for us to sit in such a class where uh, these lectures were offered uh, from a remote center from a very far place. At the same time, I'd like to uh, uh, congratulate uh, this IIT Bombay for setting up such a nice environment for us to attend this class. Now, uh, regarding the uh, remote center here, that is Amrita School of Engineering, Kollam, we had a very, very good time here in the uh, sense that we were given very good facilities here. Especially our coordinator, Professor Jayakumar, is a very good knowledgeable person that uh, many of the doubts that we had during the session, we could clarify here itself. And uh, the regarding the lectures that are uh, given by the teachers there was very much interesting and was uh, uh, informative. One suggestion anyway is from my part is that uh, after some time I would say we were uh, we, we almost have reached a state of steady state that everything that had come from the left face nothing was stored in the control, surf, uh, control uh, volume for some time after steady state was attained. I would say no accumulation has happened after one hour of the session. So if it could be initiated after every one, every one year, uh, it would be uh, bet better, I think. That's all. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much for your comment. I'm now going over to JNTU Hyderabad. Over to you, Hyderabad. Good evening, sir. Uh, uh, the participants have been uh, immensely uh, gained from this workshop as would be given by one of the participants. Before that, our head of the department, Dr. E. H. Anakesav Reddy, would like to speak a few words, sir. You're most welcome, sir. Good evening to you, sir. So, this is the, welcome, uh, this is the third program you have given to us. We have done successfully. And fourth program also approved by you, that is on research methodology. And almost 110 one students are has, has staff registered for this program. And uh, you know, JNT Hyderabad is so centered. Uh, we are having 450 colleges. Uh, and uh, uh, it is a very good center uh, for even you know, uh, long uh, range. Uh, we can have a 1,000 uh, staff facilities we can have, we can accommodate. Uh, we are very, very thankful uh, for giving this kind of opportunities and uh, making our center uh, uh, part of this your program and uh, I congratulate you uh, for successful conducting of so many events and we are also supporting in this aspects. This is the third uh, 
event we have successfully conducted. Both the way to we are waiting for you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I, I thought there was some part, one participant who wanted to say a few things. Good afternoon, sir. I am uh, a participant uh, from Usman University, Hyderabad. I would like to place on record uh, uh, your services for the workshop, sir, to Dr. Patak, sir. And also, we are very thankful to the course coordinators, uh, Puranik, sir, and Professor Atul Sharma. In fact, what I liked in the uh, entire course is uh, the way uh, the course material was presented, particularly the novel finite volume method, which was not discussed anywhere earlier. I think that's one of the greatest things that we have learned in this course. And also, when uh, Atul Sharma defined the course here, there is like a tool to make a video camera. So, I think that's one of the interesting uh, viewpoints what Professor Atul Sharma has given us. I'd like to also thank uh, uh, Dr. Pramana, the course coordinator here, who is a very friendly and uh, in fact, uh, whenever there was a break in the uh, video session from your side, she immediately jumped into the whiteboard and uh, she was also giving some interesting uh, uh, learnings from her side. So it's overall, it's a great experience for all of us. We have a uh, very good uh, participation from all the colleges in uh, Hyderabad and also in, uh, uh, from uh, other parts of Madhya Pradesh. I would also take from this, uh, uh, in fact, uh, I'm also planning to start one center at Usman University Engineering College campus also. That's one of the learnings that I'm taking from this uh, course. And uh, I would like to place on record the thanks to all, uh, even the staff who uh, uh, volunteered their services to the program. Thank you, sir. We look forward for many programs on, on these lines in the future from your side. Thank you very much. Uh, we'll go to SVNIT Surat now. I may make one request. Uh, any speaker from a remote center, if he or she could kindly identify himself or herself, because you see, you know yourself and your colleagues in that remote center will know you by name. But please do not forget that there are thousand other people across the country who are watching you, including us, for example. Of course, uh, Professor Atul Sharma and Professor Bhalchandra Puranik might have known some of the names by now, but I am a newcomer. So I'd appreciate if any speaker first identifies oneself and then offers a comment. Thank you very much. I will now go over to SVNIT Surat. Over to you, Surat. Vikram Rathod from SVNIT Surat, assistant professor and teaching the basic uh, fluid mechanics uh, course in the second year level. Sir, here we are uh, around 35 participants. We are all very happy uh, attending this type of course. Um, uh, one of the things which we would like to do is uh, first uh, thanks to uh, Professor Puranik. Uh, and thanks to Atul Sharma, sir. Uh, one thing we would like to do, uh, one gesture is we will raise hand uh, that we are very happy since last two weeks. Uh, all participants, we would like to raise the hand. Ah. Thank you so much. I, I, I will clap on your behalf for them. Thank you so much. I will now go over to VIT Pune. Uh, hello, sir. Myself, uh, Professor Swapnil Wadkar. Uh, from uh, the uh, uh, participants' point of view, I would like to first thanks to uh, give th thanks to uh, both the professors who, who have done really a great job, uh, especially Balchandra Puranik and also the uh, Atul Sharma sir. Uh, the fluid contents, uh, whatever the syllabus uh, was designed, that was very nicely uh, appreciable kind of design. Uh, I would really welcome if you are going to take uh, further this on like advanced computational fluid dynamics or something like that or any course specifically designed in that stream. So that would be really appreciable part uh, and uh, whatever you did that was a fantastic job I should say. Uh, all the participants over here are really happy about uh, whatever the way we learned over here. We really enjoyed about that. Uh, especially the coordinators in uh, VIT center are really cooperative. So uh, whatever arrangements they made, uh, we really enjoyed the lab work, lab facility, whatever codes you have designed, you people have designed, those are really appreciable, especially about boundary conditions and all those things. I know that it's uh, really complex for uh, you people to teach uh, when you are far away apart from uh, the persons and you are teaching the programming as well as the fundamental theory concepts. So it is really complex to handle all such things, but it is uh, really appreciable efforts what you guys did. So uh, really thanks for that. Thank you very much. 
I appreciate the comments. I will now go over to Nitya Minakshi Institute of Technology, Bangalore. Over to you. So first of all, uh, thanks a lot to MHRD and uh, IIT Bombay's initiative in this. Uh, some time back, it was very difficult to interact with uh, IIT professors and IIC professors. Now, at one time, uh, IITs are able to reach uh, so many colleges at one point of time, it's really commendable. And uh, I'm sure this will raise the standards of teaching and also the students. And uh, this is in general. And in particular, uh, this program has been uh, extremely good. Very well done by uh, both uh, Dr. Puranik and uh, Atul Sharma. We really commend them and we give them a standing ovation uh, on their excellent uh, uh, delivery. So I, I request everyone to join in clapping them. Thank you so much for your kind gesture. Uh, sorry, please continue. At the same time, uh, I, am, uh, I did not introduce myself. I am Dr. Raj Gopal. So I am speaking from NMIT Bangalore. I also thank NMIT Bangalore for providing such a good opportunity for us to be here. It was really enjoyable. And we also want the advanced to see of the course to start maybe within a year's time. Okay. Arranging, a, thank you so much for your comments. Uh, you are very right in that arranging a course uh, takes a whole lot of efforts and whole lot of uh, arrangements to be made. Uh, but and if you want more courses, especially in uh, some specific stream, advanced courses, they are still more difficult to arrange. However, it's a good problem to have. And I'm willing to promise to you that we will, by next year, definitely have a course on advanced fluid dynamics. Of course, I'm taking for granted my colleagues here. So may I request uh, Professor Puranik and Professor Atul Sharma to say that within one year, will they be ready with an advanced course, which could actually help even the researchers, not just the teachers. Well, they are not saying yes very easily, <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, don't worry, uh, I will work on them for one year and make them ready in the next six months. Thank you so much. I'll now go over to MES Pillai College at New Panvel. Uh, I can see the New Panvel Institute. Over to you, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, I am Professor Vivek Yakundi uh, from Lokmanya Tilak College of Engineering and uh, attending a workshop here at MES Pillai Remote Center. Uh, as far as the organization of the whole workshop is concerned, I would say it was excellent, barring a few audio-video distortions. Um, so I would like to congratulate NME ICT for their initiative on training the trainers. Uh, it was really the need of an hour. And further, I would like to extend my thanks to IIT Bombay, who were actually enablers and delivered. Uh, Professor Puranik and Professor Sharma uh, were really excellent in delivering uh, the, their presentations and deliberations, uh, which were of uh, very much uh, uh, use to all of us teachers. Professor Puranik, while uh, delivered, uh, the contents on basics of fluid mechanics, governing equations, and uh, physical significances of various phenomena uh, concerned to fluid mechanics and heat transfer. Uh, Dr. Atul Sharma was also equally uh, um, good in uh, giving his deliberations through animations, uh, like uh, and the concepts of computational stencils and all, which uh, many of us were not aware. So the deliberations made by both the professors were really excellent. So uh, from our center, uh, I have taken uh, opinions of all. Uh, we have about 30 uh, participants. Every one of them uh, uh, liked the presentations made by both professors. Uh, so we uh, uh, enjoyed every bit of this workshop, uh, be it a lecture or a lab session or a test. So every one of us uh, enjoyed it. Uh, so as a gesture of uh, our happiness, uh, I would uh, uh, request the participants to clap for this session. <coughs> and uh, <coughs> also, uh, the response was quite good. 
from all centers uh, the questions raised the doubts and common doubts and uh, were quite uh, of use to all of us because uh, mainly uh, the doubts were of common nature uh, so these were quite helpful to all of us and uh, lastly coming to the remote center mes pillai uh, uh, i would like to thank them for uh, this excellent arrangement and environment provided to all the participants and also for the hospitality extended to all of us thank you sir thank you very much thank you very much for your kind comments and the gesture of clapping uh, i really appreciate that i would like to take this opportunity to comment on one observation which professor yakundi made namely that doubts raised by several participants were of common interest it is very important in fact this was my assumption when i proposed the scaling up of this model i was asked this question by several skeptics initially that if uh, five people ask questions in a 100 uh, participants class then wouldn't 50 people be asking questions if you make 1000 participants and my answer was exactly what uh, prashya kundi observed that generally about 5 to 7 to 10 questions when they are answered most of the other questions are also answered because doubts will mostly be common and of course in case you have specific doubts which are more than those common doubts there is always an email and chat session and the moodle uh, framework uh, in fact that is the reason why we are able to scale up and now as some of you may know uh, beginning from 25th we are running a course on introduction to research methodologies where we have 9300 participants from 168 remote centers i am keeping my fingers crossed to see how does that course go hopefully it will go well in which case we will be running 10000 teachers workshops over the next two years so let me go over to uh, dktas ichal karanji which is the next college here uh, my name is sr patel from pvp institute of technology budgaon sangli i am attending this course at remote center dkt itsal karanji the i am very much thankful to the mechanical department of iit bombay specific thanks and uh, to professor puranik and professor sharma for their efforts what they have taken to teach this course uh, fluid mechanics and cfd overall the program was very good and i am thankful to the remote center dkt also for their hospitality arrangement what they have made and finally i am thank to all the participants at different remote centers for the different questions what they have raised to enable to understand this program thank you sir thank you very much we have a, a comment request raised from nit tiruchirappalli i will start the video action with uh, interaction with nit tiruchirappalli now over to you trichi my name is uh, lakshmanan i am an associate professor from sarnathan college in trichy and uh, we are of course from nit trichy this uh, this program was an excellent program it was a wonderful program uh, we are all very thankful to mhrd and to iit bombay for creating this workshop uh, the quality of the programs have been excellent uh, our special thanks to dr puranik and uh, dr atul sharma for giving such nice lectures uh, we are also very thankful to our center coordinator dr suresh who is away in the united states attending some international conference he has made excellent arrangements uh, they have made good arrangements for stay as well as for uh, uh, food and things like that refreshments uh, the program has been really excellent there are no words to capture um, our feelings on uh, how beneficial this program will be um uh, i don't have any any words really i am very very happy i am myself an alumnus of iit madras from 25 years ago and uh, i am reminded of the excellent lectures of dr sp venkatesh in the hod of mechanical department there and my kind professor professor walker of uh, america who gave us excellent lectures on fluid mechanics and dr vinayak ishwaran who is the hod of iit hyderabad whom i had the privilege of studying under many many thanks sir i don't have words to thank you it's excellent the programs have been excellent and uh, very beneficial it will really help many people who will be doing phds in the in the areas of cfd and thermal engineering uh, really uh, bravo uh, it's magnificent the program is magnificent 
may god bless you in your endeavor even one of your other staff dr kannan whom i understand has a double phd in chemical engineering and computer science he happened to be here with us for informal uh, feedback and uh, he it was excellent having him here also uh, really there are no words there there are no words to thank you for uh, what you have done uh, i i i personally and all the participants i am sure wish and pray to god and wish you god speed in this mission where you are going to teach the teachers and educate the teachers all over the country in the years to come god bless you sir thank really you very much really wonderful thank you very much it was truly an emotional tribute i appreciate it because i am also uh, intensely emotional and impulsive but i do appreciate these observations let me tell you that Uh, i have been privileged in running this project uh, you are witnessing one particular workshop that is happening now and concluding today but we have had 10 such workshops in the past and thanks to the very hard work that my colleagues have put in here as also very hard work put in by the back end teams whom you don't normally don't see our administrative team and our video team etc and of course extraordinary support from our remote center coordinators all that thing gels well together uh, to make these programs effective at the end of the day it is the enthusiasm and serious participation by the participants which encourages all of us to work on i will remember your words for a long time professor because i am going to tell the ministry that with this kind of feedback we should actually have not one iit bombay giving lectures but at least 10 such hubs in this country and multiple subjects multiple experts interacting with many people across the country thank you very much for this suggestion i'll go over to kolapur institute of technology in kolapur good evening sir uh, i'm very much uh, actually first thankful to you all by giving uh, such a wonderful experience because first time we are uh, actually especially i have attended the outreach program and definitely we will try to implement um uh, maximum from this uh, workshop for our students our college uh, also i appeal you to uh, arrange such a workshop especially some issues on uh, social related issues like environmental energy conservations in future also and uh, one uh, kind request to you uh, especially some uh, my colleagues in these workshops are not, are totally new to the cfd competition food dynamics field so sir um, especially when you are arranging test quiz in these programs so especially first test first quiz uh, you please keep difficulty level uh, somewhat low otherwise it will uh, hamper confidence of the newcomers in this field so please for the next workshop if it possible you please take precautions sir because for new comers it uh, it happens with me that's why sir again i congratulate you all for completing this workshop and i appeal my all the colleagues to give big hands to the team of the iit thank you thank you sir thank you very much uh, thank you i would only observe that uh, uh, the quizzes that you saw were probably a glimpse of what we routinely do to our students here in iit because we firmly believe that getting ten simple problems in a quiz and solving all of them correctly may gives us immense mental satisfaction but may not add much to the knowledge instead if we are forced to attempt ten very difficult questions even if we don't get a single question right the time that we spend in thinking about that problem and applying our mind actually enhances our knowledge sadly that is not the practice in other universities and that is how people distinguish between a simple quiz and a complex quiz and a difficult quiz uh, however your point is well taken perhaps we need to take our participants through a graded stages of uh, exercise complexity so professor puranik and professor sharma may uh, do well to remember this particularly for the advanced course which i have promised to participants on their behalf next year thank you so much We have now College of Engineering Pune. Good evening. I am Sripa Sarange, Institute of Knowledge, College of Engineering Pune. Uh, sir, I really I would like to thank uh, to IIT Bombay, especially this kind of program require a lot of uh, hard uh, working. 
particular planning and execution is excellent and uh, definitely that uh, uh, pre plan whatever you have taken uh, like uh, displaying the syllabus content and other thing that was a really excellent and uh, helpful to prepare before starting of this uh, teaching program and uh, after that uh, particular the coep uh, really arranged uh, very well means uh, what is that arrangement made over there hospitality and uh, other content lab, uh, lab sessions was organized very properly and uh, especially uh, i would like to thank uh, professor puranik and uh, professor uh, sharma sir for their uh, meticulous uh, meticulous and uh, uh, proper planning they have really uh, delivered excellently their uh, work and uh, animation work uh, provided by them somewhere that was uh, really helpful to us to grasp the concept although this uh, cfd itself uh, is a complete one semester uh, subject but still uh, in this uh, uh, little plan uh, what i can say that uh, gagar me sagar like that they have plan like this although this space was a uh, very uh, fast somewhere that uh, uh, somewhat difficult to grasp especially this uh, interdisciplinary approach was there uh, especially i think i am from mechanical background that is okay for me but particular for uh, civil and other branches it uh, might be very uh, difficult to understand but uh, I, i don't know what sort of uh, possibilities there but i think if possible nodal center or organization institute like uh, cup or other thing they should have uh, open their library so that uh, participant from this uh, uh, institute they can go to their library and they can uh, look up into the book and if any doubt is there they can uh, definitely uh, clear the doubt uh, definitely i have tried i have taken books but uh, summary if that uh, facility is extended i think uh, this will be much more uh, additional feature that can we can have and definitely this will enhance the program and uh, i uh, if possible please uh, uh, extend to this next uh, uh, cfd part 2 program so that we can uh, uh, see or check our knowledge what uh, what extent we have uh, basically we are uh, make progress and uh, uh, one more thing is that yes definitely this is going to act like a seed uh, we are going to uh, we are going back now our institute and we'll try and whatever that course are there and theory and uh, other materials there definitely we'll go into much more detail now and uh, i think uh, oh, what is assignment you are giving after this one this will reflect what we are get uh, uh, grasping and you will see that there is a really uh, you will get a positive response for our side uh, from uh, uh, participant i am giving a promise definitely this is going to happen you will be very happy that your hard work is paying you back and uh, thank you very much thank you so much uh it was very amusing for me although i am a maharashtrian i studied in madhya pradesh and i studied in hindi it is after a long time that i heard this phrase uh, gagar mein sagar which is uh, a very apt phrase indeed you are very right these two colleagues of mine have actually tried to put in a whole lot of useful information in a concise fashion in such a short program my own compliments to them and your suggestion to keep the library accessible at the local remote center to participants is a good one we usually do that whenever we have workshops in iit the outsiders are permitted library access i will request the remote center directors uh, to try and perhaps uh, think of such a possibility thank you so much uh, we have vpcoe balamati let's go over to vpcoe balamati over to you sir Good evening, sir. Myself, Sir Sagar, sir, Assistant Professor from S. B. Patil College of Engineering, Indapur, and one of the participant at V. P. C. U. E. Baramati. Our feeling is that we have got a very valuable guidance on a very important and emerging subject, C. F. D. And we are very much impressed by the way of their interaction and sharing of their knowledge. And for that, we are very much thankful. to professor atul sharma and professor valchandra purani our remote center provided with the hard copies of uh, ppt which has uh, made our understanding very much easy and these will be very much useful in future as well thank you sir thank you to iit bombay we have now tantai periyar velor we'll go over to velor now over to you sir 
I'm 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 talking from Tandai Periyar Government Institute of Technology from Bellur. I am Dr. Prakasam, representing Ganadi Bedi Tulsi Jain Engineering College. For the past two weeks, your program has been so excellent, and our professors and teachers have enriched their knowledge in the latest topic in mechanical engineering, computational fuel dynamics. This topic finds relevant use not only for the teachers, even for the researchers. So, we congratulate the organizers. Professor Dr. Puranik and also Professor Dr. Atul Sharma, who have conducted this program in an excellent way. And we also thank Kande Periya Institute of Technology for arranging an excellent environment for disseminating this information. They have made all the hard copies of the PowerPoint presentations and it has been very useful for our participants to know the complete details of this program. So we congratulate on behalf of all our participants and we once again thank you thank you once again thank you so much we'll now go to mafakkamja college hyderabad over to you sir i am uh, professor jason murthy a chemical engineer from vidyan bharti institute of technology hyderabad speaking from emor center uh, at hyderabad uh, sir at the outset i congratulate IIT Bombay for having taken up such a gigantic task of educating teachers all over India. And we are very thankful to MHRD Government of India for initiating such a program. We are very thankful to Professor Patak and uh, Project Coordinator Dr. Mukta Atre for selecting us as participants. There are no words to express our gratitude to course coordinators Professor Atul Sarma and Professor Puranik for the pains they have taken and the effort they have put in preparation of the lecture material and in their delivery that to uh, the lecturing uh, for hours and uh, for two weeks uh, and also designing the lab and of course they have conducted tests and I know how much effort and how much uh, time they must have taken to put it and we are highly thankful and virtually I should say we do not have words to express our gratitude. However, in addition, they had to answer questions of multiple type from various places and really they have put their best effort to answer the, all the questions to the satisfaction of the participants and we are again very thankful for this. And, uh, However, there are a few things uh, that could be improved in the sense, of course, we had some difficulty, of course, uh, being in India, these uh, things are a little common to us. At times, we had a little uh, uh, lack of clarity uh, because of this audio problems, and uh, during which uh, some parts of the lecture uh, we have missed in between, and even during the lecture also. And another thing that what I say is I consider this one as an initiation of the effort to uh, start this subject at undergraduate level. As this effort would definitely encourage the teachers at various institutions in India to uh, teach this uh, particular subject to undergraduate students so that this subject knowledge is widely spread. And uh, I request you, sir, uh, it is also required to go to the next stage where the teachers would be able to initiate research as well because then only it will have uh, the reasonable fruit. Uh, so, kindly uh, make a note of this and we will be very thankful if you could uh, think in this direction. And last but not least, uh, we are very thankful to uh, the organizers of our uh, remote center and here the environment is extremely good, college is wonderful. Our coordinator, Professor Samad, is uh, a very, very dynamic person and... <laughs> And he has taken uh, care of every minute thing uh, to my surprise. And very, very thankful, sir. And all the best. And thank you very much, sir. And we will be very happy to attend this type of course in future also. We are here, uh, more than 40 participants. And we are very sure all of us are benefited. And we are going back to our institutions 
with enhanced knowledge in, the, in this particular field and uh, I am very sure we will convey uh, this knowledge to our students uh, so that this particular field is very well developed in India. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Professor Murthy. Thanks for those comments. Uh, I understand that there were perhaps some audio glitches in between. Although it is sad, uh, we will try and see that in future such glitches don't happen. Unfortunately, many times the internet on which we depend does not have clean connection between our institute and your institute. Uh, however, I would like to point out that all the contents, including audiovisual recording of these lectures, are going to be released in open source and they will be available not only on our website, but we will also be willing to send the recorded lectures in the form of DVDs, etc., uh, to those people who need them. Uh, but the point that you made is important, uh, that the audio problem should be resolved. Let me hasten to add that our partners in this big experiment, uh, Amrita University, where the AVU tool which we are using currently has been de has developed, uh, I have been associated with this tool in one form or the other. In an earlier project, I was the chairman of a review committee when I first learned of it. And when we started using this ourselves, uh, I would like to tell you that the version which is used in our first experiment two years ago and the version which we are using now has tons of difference. The tool has improved very significantly with both functionality and the audiovisual quality. But I will keep your observations in mind and we'll try and take extra care in future workshops. As regards initiating research activities, that's another important comment you made, Professor Murthy. So I would like to advise my young friends here that when they plan the advanced course, apart from covering the topics from a course point of view, if they could also indicate a set of research problems which have been partially solved and open research problems on which people could work in future, uh, that would be very useful because it is my own observation over 40 years that people trying to do research spend enormous amount of their early time in just defining the problem correctly. Many times they do not get any hint as to what problem they should select and how they should begin their work. So this suggestion of yours is well taken. Thank you so much. We'll go over to Shivaji University, Kolhapur. Good evening to all. I'm PC Vaskar, a remote center coordinator uh, from Shivaji University, Kolhapur. First of all, I would like to convey my vote of appreciation and thanks to the whole CFD team and also to the Professor D.B. Fatak sir. And also I would like to uh, congratulate uh, Professor Puranik, Professor Sharma for uh, their efforts. And only because of their efforts uh, and stamina, this particular event could become uh, very successful. And as far as the experience at our remote center is concerned, I would like to hand over to one of the participants to share her experience. Thank you, sir. I am Ms. Fadnis, one of the participants from this remote center. I really appreciate the efforts taken by the CFD team, particularly Puranik sir, who has explained fluid kinematics very excellently. Also, the Sharma sir, he has given his animation reports very excellently. And uh, nowadays, interdisciplinary approaches become to be popular, and such type of workshops that will help us to develop the interdisciplinary approaches. And my humble request to civil department of IIT Bombay to organize such workshops in the particularly in the area of seismic dynamics or seismic analysis, finite element. That is my humble request. Thank you. Over to you, sir. Thank you very much. I will convey your request to my colleagues in the civil engineering department. I think it is high time they started participating in this exciting experiment. I'll personally be talking to them uh, shortly. We have now NIT Warangal next on my list. Uh, let me go over to NIT Warangal. Over to you, sir, at Warangal. Sir, good evening, sir. Especially the dignitaries, uh, those who are uh, sitting on the layers. And uh, here, my thankful to the, first of all, the IIT Bombay faculty members, especially, I have some uh, drawback in my career, so that's why I didn't uh, study in a 
IITs and IIAs like that. And by the God grace, you people, IIT people, IIT Bombay people have conducted this wonderful program, which is going to be organized and funded by the MHRD. I am very much thankful this particular program. And uh, I am very much thankful about that uh, remote center and, uh, and the coordinators of uh, Swami Ajulu sir and as well as uh, Umamai Shravagaru and uh, very much uh, good and uh, excellent program which was organized and uh, presented by the those two people. And here I would like to represent some of the grateful things and some of the thankful things to the Mr. Puranik sir, Dr. Puranik sir as well as Atul Sharma sir and they have given, they have a very great patience given by the God. The reason it is, they have taken the continuously five days, five days classes and very patiently they have covered, they have answered each and simple to up to the application of questions. We are very much happy sir and this type of programs is very much useful useful for the students, those who are going to be studying uh, in the particular regions of the rural India. And so many people will not, will not be having that uh, desire to studying in uh, IITs, but uh, with the help of you, sir, with the help of the, the government of India, which, which, which is going to be funded these type of the programs, definitely via our, we people are going to be present entire your uh, desires to the rural India also, sir. And here, once again, I am thankful to the remote center, remote center coordinators and uh, those who are going to be provide this entire facilities from the technical team, team, team side as well as from you. Sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much for those nice words. Uh, I would like to take a cue from you and mention something. Uh, you did mention the name of uh, Dr. Somaya Julu. Let me tell you that Dr. Somaya Julu has been helping us to conduct these programs right from the inception and the amount of hard work in a dedicated fashion that he has put in is absolutely phenomenal. This is the kind of feedback that we expect and we get always from most of our remote centers. I would like all of you, not only you at Warangal, but all of our other remote center people to clap for Dr. Somaya Julu and such similar remote center coordinators at various places. Let's give them a big hand to show our appreciation. <laughs>